If you want to get motivated to accomplish something, you should definitely watch our picks for the best real-life rags to riches movies. Number 10. Middlemen, directed by George Gallo. This is the story of two drugged-out geniuses who created the first charging porn site and a businessman who was brought in to team up with them and turn their profitable idea into a legit business. Making money in the pornography industry is pretty easy, but staying true to yourself when surrounded by that much wealth, luxury, sex, crime, and temptations is much harder. You're not fucking with that thing, are you? No, man, those are subscribers. I'm getting rich. Number nine. I feel like we're in good hands on this one. Well, we won't let you down, sirs. War Dogs is a dark comedy crime film directed by Todd Phillips, taking an entertaining look at jaw-dropping real-life events and elevated by powerhouse performances. War Dogs is the absurd true story of two childhood friends who find their chance to make big money in shady arms deals. When they land a $3 million deal, business is about to get really shady, and they don't even have a clue about what is going on. $53 million. We're okay. Look at the bright side. For once, the American taxpayer is getting a good deal on the defense contract. Man, fuck the American taxpayer. Number 8. The Banker, directed by George Nolfi. Focusing on two truly revolutionary businessmen, Bernard Garrett and Joe Morris, who have the ultimate goal of taking down the racist establishment of the 60s, The Banker is not only incredibly powerful, but one of the smartest takes on business movies in the last few years. When their success is threatened by the federal government, a real game of chess begins. We can make a lot of money. We make a lot of money now. You gonna stand there with a straight face and tell me there's a business argument to do this? This is social activism, Bernard. Plain and simple. There's plenty of other ways to do that. Number seven. You are a leech, Ray. You are a professional leech. You know what I came up with, Mac? A concept. I came up with the concept of winning. The Founder is a 2016 biographical comedy drama film directed by John Lee Hancock. Franchise, franchise, franchise. This is the brilliant idea that makes struggling salesman Ray Kroc a famous millionaire after meeting Mac and Dick McDonald. Being impressed by their fast-paced strategy to sell burgers, we witness how one smart man turns two brothers' innovative fast-food eatery into the biggest restaurant business in the world with a combination of ambition, persistence, and ruthlessness. I want to take the future. I want to win. And you don't get there by being some aw shucks, nice guy, sap. There's no place in business for people like that. Business is war. Number six. Money itself isn't lost or made. It's simply uh, transferred one perception to another, like magic. Wall Street is a 1987 drama film directed by Oliver Stone. Greed is good. This is the memo of this incredibly tense attempt to give depth to the never-ending affairs of Wall Street. Gordon Gekko is one of the most successful players when it comes to money business. When the young and hungry broker Bud Fox gets himself into Gekko's inner cycle, we witness how his sense of ethics is raped, murdered, and buried for money and greed. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Number five. Fuck it, I'm not counting it again. Weigh it. Huh? If it's 60 pounds, it's 3 million. 50 is 2.5. Well, I don't give a shit. It's close enough. Blow is a 2001 biographical crime film directed by Ted Dem. It is based on the real-life story of how George Young, along with the Medellin cartel, headed by Pablo Escobar, established the American cocaine market in the 1970s. As we follow him through his life dealing with marijuana and cocaine, we witness the dark and depressing consequences one has to go through when choosing this life mostly because it is about choosing one life over another. Hey, look, I don't want to be in the middle of this, all right? That's between you and Diego. I bring you in. The, hang on. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, honey. I bring you in. This is how you pay me back. Hey, huh? look, George. It's nothing personal. I love you. This is business. Number three. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You. 
a billion dollars. The Social Network is a 2010 biographical drama film directed by David Fincher and written by Aaron Sorkin. In 2003, Harvard undergrad Mark Zuckerberg begins work on a new concept that eventually turns into the global social network known as Facebook. Extracted from multiple sources, the film captures the emotion of the first intoxicating days of a phenomenon that now modifies the culture of our world. Mark Zuckerberg is the youngest billionaire in history, but for this entrepreneur, success leads to both personal and legal complications. I just slept with Sean Parker. You just slept on Sean Parker. You're a zillionaire. Not technically. What are you? <sighs> Broke. There's not a lot of money in free music, even less when you're being sued by everyone who's ever been to the Grammys. This is blowing my mind. Number two. Just a little taste. <laughs> Jimmy. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Based on the 1985 nonfiction book titled Wise Guy by Nicholas Pileggi. Goodfellas is directed by Martin Scorsese and is widely regarded as one of the greatest films in the gangster genre. The movie is about the rise and fall of a mob associate, Henry Hill, and his friends and family from 1955 to 1980. In 2000, it was honored culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant, and selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the United States Library of Congress. Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, who is it? It's me. Pete? Yeah. Now, one second. Cool. Frankie and Johnny did. Don't be a moron with the money. Do what's right. You understand? Yeah, of course. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Wow. It really does get all the corners that my sponge mop won't get. All those crannies where my kids spill their juice. I really like it. Can we buy it? Take it easy, Christy. What, what, are, you, what are you saying, Mike? We got a strike, Kenny. We gotta go, Mike. We got a gold mine. <laughs> Morpheline est vêtue de haillons. La pauvre, elle vit presque nue. Déchire-moi un peu la robe. Non. S'il te plaît. Oh, T'es pas drôle. L'idée, c'est qu'on voit un peu mes cuisses, mes seins, non C'est beaucoup plus excitant sur les jeans. Number one. Oh, I'm, I'm good with water for now, though. Thank you. It's his first day on Wall Street. Give him time. The Wolf of Wall Street is a 2013 biographical black comedy crime film directed by Martin Scorsese. It is based on the true story of Jordan Belfort, from his career as a stockbroker in New York City to his rise living the high life. But his firm, Stratton Oakmont, was engaged in rampant corruption and fraud on Wall Street. How long will Belfort be able to maintain his elaborate wealth and luxurious lifestyle? Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.